Hey, what's up guys? Paul Tomko here. Now, I know a lot of you guys are training at home, trying to find different ways to stay healthy, to stay fit when you're at home. So I figured what better way to start my new YouTube channel than to film a bunch of videos of me training at home, showing you guys how I train using very minimal equipment. You know, I have a background in bodybuilding. I used to compete for a long time in bodybuilding shows. So I have a good idea of how to train the body with very limited equipment. So this first episode will be on arm training. So boom, let's get started. All right, so first up we got arms. We start with the biceps first. So with your biceps, if you have dumbbells, obviously the most basic exercise is just the dumbbell curl. So you're coming up, control the way down, always control the way down from the side. You notice when I'm doing this, I'm not coming all the way down because right here, if you're coming down too far, you're putting a lot of stress, bad stress on your bicep tendon and you can tear or tweak a muscle right here. So normally I'm coming down right about here, squeezing up, coming down, squeezing up, always controlled. Another thing to keep in mind is a lot of people use a lot of momentum and especially if they go too heavy and they'll kind of swing the dumbbell up, which takes a lot of the stress off the bicep and puts it onto the shoulder. And sometimes if you get really extreme with it, you can actually throw your back out if you put your whole body into it. So you really wanna keep your, your upper arm perfectly perpendicular to the ground. So you want it to stay straight up and down and just use let the bicep do the work. You don't want that upper arm coming up. Just keep it nice and perpendicular to the ground. So that's the first exercise. Again, just your dumbbell curl you can do together. You can do alternating. That's the first guy. Another good way to isolate the bicep is to actually do what's called a concentration curl. You could use a chair. <clears throat> if you have a chair handy, you can use this. Have your arm propped up against the chair so that you can't use any momentum at all. It's pure bicep. Another way to do it, if you don't want to use a chair, you can actually use your leg, come down, your arm is again supported, and you're just squeezing up, controlled, squeezing up, controlled. So these are all great bicep movements. It's hitting primarily the main part of your bicep head. If you want to hit another variation of your bicep, you can do what's called a hammer curl, where instead of holding a dumbbell with your palms facing up, you're holding it almost like you're bringing down a hammer. And by rotating and doing a curl that way, you're gonna be working the top part of your forearm a lot more. So instead of doing a curl like this, you're doing a curl like this. So you're still working your bicep, but you're working a lot of your brachioradialis right here, brachialis muscle, your forearm uh, extensor muscles. You're working a lot of different muscles as well. You normally don't go as heavy, but it's a good bicep variation as well. So your tricep, there's three muscles, your exterior head, the interior head, and your medial head. So most people, when they do triceps, they do a lot of you know, push-ups and presses, bench presses, press downs. That works primarily your outer head and your medial head. To get that inside head, that long head, which is the biggest part of your tricep, you need to do exercises for your triceps where your upper arm is extended over towards your head. Because when you're extended, when you're stretched out, that's when you're engaging that long end of the tricep. So one of the best ones that you can do at home, hopefully again, if you have a dumbbell, is you're doing, gotta watch out for my garage door, doing an overhead extension, and you're just coming down, in and up. So control the way down, and coming up. So from the side, get a nice stable stance. You're controlling the way down, and up. There's no need to go super deep. You don't need to go all the way down. Just control it to right about there. And then up. Control. Up. You notice at the top, I'm not going to the very top up here. Because from here to here, 
you're taking the stress off the tricep and putting it primarily onto your your elbow joint so right here we kind of avoid because you want to keep constant tension on the tricep control squeeze control squeeze so that is one of the best movements you can do to isolate the long head of your tricep you can of course do what i was telling you earlier for your triceps you can do close grip push-ups so normal push-ups you're coming out wider if you want to try primarily hit your tricep you're bringing your grip in closer and you're focused on the finish so coming down and fully locking out so if you're doing push-ups to work your triceps my hands are more narrow i'm coming down and focusing on squeezing at the top control squeezing at the top if that's too hard for you feel free to use your knees controlled squeezing at the top controlled squeezing at the top again my hands are pretty close together you don't want to go super close these are called diamond push-ups and while they do hit your triceps really well they can also put too much stress sometimes on your wrists on your elbows it's not a very natural movement so i like to go even on my close grips to go at least one foot apart with my hands Another great tricep movement to again isolate that long head of the tricep where your arms are over extended over towards your head. You can do a lying tricep extension. But you're laying down. Again, you want your upper arm to be stretched out so my elbows are stretched out above my head, engaging my long head. And then from here, that's my starting position, squeezing up. Control the way down, squeezing up. If you come down to the ground, that's great. Just make sure you're not bouncing off the ground. You can kind of rest it for a split second, but don't take the tension off your tricep. So we're here, control, squeeze up, control. And again, just like the standing overhead extensions, I'm not finishing. I'm not going from here to here because from here to here, this is taking tension off the tricep and just putting onto your elbow, which is not what we want. So you're just keeping the triceps engaged the whole time. One last one that I'm gonna show you for the triceps is gonna be dips. We all have chairs at home that we can use. And I talk about this, I'll talk about this more later, but one of the best ways to get in shape faster is to do multi-joint exercises. Like for example, if you're doing squats, you're using your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, you're using all these muscles you're using a lot of muscles, so you're gonna get in shape faster. Versus doing something like a isolation movement, like an extension, where you're only hitting one muscle. So for this, you're doing a dip between chairs. And the good thing about this is you're using a little bit of chest, some shoulder, and some tricep. So you're using more muscles. The more muscles that you're working out at once, the faster that you're gonna get in shape. So this one, again, just set up three chairs. One chair is for your feet, two chairs for your hands. And you're just coming down, squeezing up. Coming down, squeezing up. Control the way down, and no need to go super low. I can go lower if I want to. I can go lower than this. But at that point, you can kind of compromise your shoulder. So you want to make sure everything's nice and tight. Only go down until it feels comfortable, right here. Squeeze up. If this is too tough for you, you can put your feet down. This is the easiest version right here with your feet nice and close. This is the easiest version. If that's too easy for you, you want something a little bit harder, you can put your feet out here. And then the hardest version, if you have chairs, is having your feet up high. Now, of course, if you can do full dips, <laughs> you can always do full dips somewhere. This isn't the best area to do it. If you have like a counter corner, you can always do dips in the corner of your counter. So what do you do if you don't have, if you don't have dumbbells, what options do you have? Well, we're working from home. We're working out from home. A lot of us can't go to the gym right now because gyms are closed. So you got to find what you can use that has weight that's heavy, relatively heavy, and that you can hold pretty easily. Here is this kind of canvas heavy duty bag from Trader Joe's. So if you have something heavy that you can put in here, whether it's 
rice, beans, cans of food. I'm gonna put some water bottles in here right now just to show you that you can do a lot of these same exercises using something like a bag with something heavy inside of it. So. I literally, I'm just grabbing waters from this case. I'm gonna load up this bag. Each one of these bottles is only about a pound. So depending on how strong you are, you may need a lot of bottles of water. <laughs> but hey, no excuses, right? This is kind of weird to do, but hey, this is, uh, these are not normal times that we're living in right now. So again, I got probably 12, 15 bottles of water in here. And same thing, you can do the same bicep exercises with this if you're doing triceps. Same thing, over behind your head and you're hitting your triceps. You can do a lot of the same stuff even with a hammer curl. You hold it like this. Same thing, hammer curls. You can do it all. Just use your mind, find something that's, that's heavy that you can use around the house. Um, and just be creative. The last thing I wanna talk about on arms is something called supersets. So a superset is when you go from one exercise directly to another without resting in between. And doing that, you burn more calories, you boost your metabolism more, and it just makes the workout harder to get you in shape faster. So for example, if you're doing arms together and say you do your curls and then you rest and then you do your curls and then you rest, that is one way to do your workout, but a better way, a more efficient and harder way to get even better results is to do your curls. Once you're done with your curls, go right into whatever tricep movement that you're doing with no rest. And once you do your tricep movement, you can rest, you know, 30 seconds, get a grit, you know, a quick sip of water and then go right back into your bicep. And by going back and forth between your bicep and tricep exercises, you're going to get a great workout, get fast results and really see the difference. All right, that's it for my first video on training arms when you're at home. Did I miss any favorite exercise that you love to do? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you check out my other training videos that I'm posting for all the different muscle groups. So I'll see you guys in the next video.